Welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this uh, lesson, we will solve what we call literal equation. Those are equations that contain more than one variable. Like this one. If you notice, we have two variables, x and y, and we want to solve for y. It's called here. So how are we going to do that? We want to uh, eliminate everything else, the 4x and the minus 3. So the first thing you want to eliminate here is the 4x. I'm going to subtract 4x. And if I subtract on the left side, I have to do the same on the right side. And you notice these two cancel out. So we have on the left side only negative 3y equals. And here you can start with either one. Usually I start with the x term because later it's very useful to do that. So now we have negative 3y equals negative 4x plus 8. The next step will be to get rid of the negative 3 and is negative 3 times y. The operation that is undoing the multiplication, negative 3 times y, is division. So I'm going to divide by negative 3. And that's it. In this stage, in this moment of your math class, I think you can leave the answer like this. Later, when we want to uh, get what is called a slope intercept form, we can simplify and get a different form. But in this moment, I think um, your teacher will be happy with this form if you want to solve for a variable. On my next uh, part of the lesson, I'm going to solve uh, an equation that uh, we have variable on both sides. Okay on the left and on the right like in this case we have multiple variable m x y n and again x on the right side and we're going to solve for x so the first thing you want to do here is to bring the x on the same side of the equation so one way to do it is by subtracting an x to, rem to remove this n x from the right side of course, we're going to do the same thing on the left side. Remember this principle of solving equation. And now we have 3mx minus nx minus 7y equals negative 8. But we want also to get rid of this minus 7y, so I'm going to add 7y. And of course, you would do that on the other side on the right side in this case. So we have now 3mx minus nx equals 7y minus 8. And now we're going to factor out dx. This x here is going to be the common factor. And we have here 3m minus n equals 7y minus 8. And then we're going to solve for x, and I'm gonna, like I said, we have x times this parenthesis. We're going to define by whatever that parenthesis is. We don't really need a parenthesis sign. I just put them for you to see. It's the same guy like the guy next to the x. Okay, so we divide by what is by the x to get rid or whatever we have next to the x. And this is the solution, which I'm going to write it one more time. 7y minus 8 over 3m minus n. On the next part of the lesson, we will look to something very similar. The only difference, we have parentheses. And the first thing you want to do, eliminate the parentheses. So on the left side, we have ax minus 2a minus 7 equals bx minus 4b if we use the distributive property. Similar with the previous problem, we're going to bring the x's on the same side. So I'm going to subtract bx here to get rid of the bx here. And I'm going to subtract on the left side bx also to keep the balance. So now we have ax minus bx minus 2a minus 7 equals negative 4b. The next thing will be to eliminate the negative 2a minus 2a. So I'm going to add 2a and the minus 7. So I'm going to add 7. And again, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Add 2a and a 7. 
we're going to put a plus here, that's okay, it really doesn't matter. And on the left side we have AX minus BX equal. And let's see, on the right side we have negative 4B, or you can start with 2A in fact, plus 2A plus 7. Nothing can be combined on the right side. So on the left side we're going to again do what I did in a previous problem, factor out the X, A minus B inside of the parentheses equals negative 4b plus 2a plus 7 and the last step for solving for x is to divide by a minus b on both sides and the final answer for our problem will be x equals negative 4b plus 2a plus 7 over a minus b this is not the only good form of course, you can play with different forms since you have this quotient and these negatives. Sometimes in mathematics, we will work with uh, formulas, different type of formula. Formula are nothing else than literal equation. Like in this one, we have uh, the formula for of the volume of a rectangular prism is V equals length times width times height where v represent the volume l represent the length of the prism w represent the width of the prism and h represent the height of the prism solve the formula for l v equals l times w times h and we want to solve for l so we're going to get rid of w and h this is very simple divide by w and h why because you have multiplication here and the operation that is undoing multiplication is division so we cancel these two guys but don't forget to do the same thing on the other side divide by w and h and the final answer will be l equal the volume of the prism rectangular prism over the width times the height and this is a good formula in case you take some geometry or you need some time to find the length of rectangular screens when you know the volume the, the width and the height that's the way you do it and part b very similar we're going to solve the same formula for w so uh, now we notice w is right here between but we still have this multiplication so it's going to be the same process we're just going to divide by l to get rid of this cell and divide by h to get rid of this h why divide by these two guys because we have a multiplication and the operation that is undoing multiplication is division the same thing on the left side and we have the form w equals v over l times h another example where you can use uh, algebraic steps in a formula and this formula we have here shows us c equals 5 over 9 f minus 32 he's talking about uh, degree celsius if you know uh, how many fahrenheit degrees we have you can calculate the celsius degree by using this formula but in this problem we want to solve for c so let me copy this formula one more time and i will say the first step you want to do here and this is not the only way by the way is to multiply by nine over five i think this is the easiest way in my opinion multiply by nine over five both sides obviously this nine cancel this nine this five cancel this five so we have nine over five c equals f minus 32 and i think this we should so, say solve the formula for f not for c because it's already solved for c uh, and then we're gonna add 32 on both sides and we have f equals 9 over 5 uh, c plus 32 and this formula allows you if you go and travel somewhere where the temperature is measured in celsius it allows you to find the temperature in fahrenheit so for example if the temperature in celsius is 30 degrees 
the temperature in Fahrenheit will be 9 over 5 times 30 plus 32. 5 goes in 36 times. 9 times 6, 54 plus 32. That will be 86 degree Fahrenheit. So a good way to use this to formula this one if you want to uh, go from Fahrenheit to Celsius and this one if you go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And the last problem in this uh, lesson is very similar. We have another formula S equals 2 pi R squared plus 2 pi R H and you need to solve for H. In fact, this formula is the surface area of a cylinder. And in this one, we want to solve for H, which is right here. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract 2 pi r square on both sides. Why? Because you want to get rid of this 2 pi r square. So let's see what we get. We have s minus 2 pi r square equals, and on the right side we have t 2 pi r h. Again, this is the guy we want to solve for. So we're going to divide now by 2 pi r. Divide because we have only multiplication here. 2 times pi times r. So this 2 pi r cancel this 2 pi r. Don't forget to do the same thing on the other side. Divide by 2 pi r. So we have the final answer h equals s minus 2 pi r squared over 2 pi r. And that's it. If you enjoy this lesson, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.